Obviously we get to see how good his skills at finding turtles are because he's always out in the wild looking for them. They kind of wander around on land a lot and you got to think like a turtle to find a turtle. What'd you get? What's this? What's this? This is a turtle oh, I've always wanted, man. Hey, what's going on? I'm hanging out here today with Dead Snake Greg. That's how I know you. Yeah, yeah. Dead Snake Greg, man. He's also got a YouTube channel. Why don't you tell them your YouTube yeah. channel? My YouTube channel is Greg's Turtle Haven. All right. I basically do something kind of similar to Kenan. I have everything housed outside. I show everybody that, you know, there is an alternate way to do it, to housing things indoors. You can put things outdoors. But he does a lot with gator snappers. This dude yeah. is a gator snapper expert. He loves alligator snappers. Yeah. There's a skull right there. Yeah. Um, definitely check out his channel if you like turtles. And today, he's brought me a gift. We sincerely thank all of you happy campers out there. Your support makes a real difference in our efforts here at Camp Kennet. This week's shout out goes to Professor Herb. Thank you for all you do and for loving reptiles. He's brought me a gift and I needed one of these. And the reason you're bringing me this pink belly side neck is because um, you're you're kind of have the same mo as me. Like you want to keep animals that do well where you're at. Exactly. So exactly. what's happening with this little dude? So I got a uh, about ten of these guys, and I don't really need ten pink bellied side necks. And you know, with where I live, it does get cold in the winter. Not super cold like up north, but it does get cold enough to where. I would rather they be comfortable. Right. And um, I knew that you needed a male pink I belly side neck, and I had a few females, and I, I just was like, figured I it's, would give you one that, that would thrive and do well for you. And Man, this um, is awesome, bro. They're fantastic turtles. They're great. I love watching them. Oh, they're strong, too. Um, beautiful shells. Look at how uh, completely streamlined this shell is. Really, really fast swimmers. These guys are from, you could find them in Papua New Guinea in Northern Australia. They're of the Amidura uh, genus. Sublagosa is the uh, species name. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm having brain fades left and right today. But you can see it's a male. Look at how long that tail is, man. Awesome. So uh, beautiful. I mean, did you raise this one up? No, no, I didn't. Okay. I, I wish I could take credit for that. No, it's gorgeous. Perfect. Yeah, he's um, absolutely perfect. And there are three females in here. I don't know where, but hey, man, let's just get this guy uh, going. He's a, he's a dude. He'll find them. He'll find them. I like to put my turtles on land, of course. And, and again, guys, side neck turtle pulls its head into the side when he feels threatened like that. Um, really, really cool animals. I love the side necks. I just want him to kind of go in there. Go on. There you go, dude. Right on. And he's hiding. <laughs> So he's gonna spend the day just wandering around. But there's more that we need to do in this video besides just getting awesome turtles from a buddy. Um, we're gonna let him get used to things. So here's what I, I gotta do, and I figured um, Greg could help me out because uh, four eyes are gonna be better than just my two. We have to find a Central American wood turtle in the front yard. Now I've been seeing it since I got it last week, um, but I want Greg to bring it over to Fred's house because he's gonna be heading into that area later. So <clears throat> I wanted to bequeath my friend Fred with this turtle. Uh, we're using SAT words today. I like to do that from time to time. Uh, so go ahead and uh, why don't you tell me what that word means, bequeath. Anyway, uh, we're gonna start looking for the turtle. What I like to do, Greg, is I always come here first. This is like the usual, <clears throat> it sucks turtles in. Luckily they don't ever die, it's not, any situation like that but i do check in here and we struck out all right so we've got a lot of ground to cover people uh let's see man i'm gonna this thing's heavy as all get out this fake rock nope there's a chinese or rather an asian box turtle let's see now what's cool about the rhino clemmies is they love the stream areas <clears throat> and they like that shallow water but they're they're pretty darn terrestrial <clears throat> They kind of wander around on land a lot. And you got to think like a turtle to find a turtle. No, look at this. The Asian box turtles are everywhere. See, we get to see how good his skills of finding turtles are because he's always out in the wild looking for them. And this is basically the wild here. Oh man, you think if I was looking for an Asian box turtle, I wouldn't be able to find one. 
You know what's cool about this front yard, people? Is that you get wandering radiated tortoises. Isn't it awesome just to see uh, the radiated tortoises use all aspects of the front yard? They've got kind of the flat area here, but they do come up and they explore into these uh, bromeliads and grasses, and they're always wandering around. It's really, really cool. You, you got, what'd you get? Found something cool. These are yeah. like one of my favorite turtles. Yeah, there you go, man. Salvanai, that's one of the musk turtles we recently yeah. got from the Miami Zoo. And that is an awesome turtle, huh? Yeah. So, I mean, it's the stereotypical Salvanai, giant Mexican musk turtle. It's not the bigger version, right? which is a tripercatus. Yeah, I have a tripercatus. You do? And, yeah, it's a... <sighs> It's, it's like this on steroids. Oh my I mean, gosh. I just a gigantic... <clears throat> I've been loving these dudes, and what I've noticed is they do like to wander around mm -hmm. on land, huh? So yeah. where'd you find this guy? He was actually behind <clears throat> a cactus uh, no way. there, yeah. That is so rad. So cool to see these guys are doing well wandering around here. Yeah. They've got plenty of room to move. Now, I know a lot of you guys and a lot of the people watching the channel have been worried. They're like, oh my God, you're over, you know, you're overstocking your ponds out front. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me, I got a little phlegm in the throat there. And um, you got to remember a lot of these turtles, they're wandering around on land. They're not all in the water at the same time. These bio falls that Aquascape makes are just fantastic. But I do feel the need to let everybody know that yeah. we actually have, um, we're going to be having a visit here in a couple of weeks from Greg the Pond Guy and the Pond Professor himself, Ed Ballou. They just recently got done building you a pond. Say, yeah, I, I'm fortunate enough that I can vouch that not only are these ponds, you know, what you can see when you walk up to them spacious, but they create little nooks and crannies, yeah. lots of places for the turtles to hide. So they have so much personal space in these setups and they make just such great ponds and streams. That, it's so much fun, yeah, guys. I, I mean, you know, when I was young turtle nerd, uh, I guess I'm an old turtle nerd now, but when I was a young lad, um, I dreamed about having ponds and keeping turtles like this. And that's why Greg and I are so friendly is he does the same thing. I want you guys to know these ponds are not out of your reach. Um, they have kits, they have all kinds of different sizes and different price points so that you guys can start small, start raising your animals outdoors, <clears throat> and then as you grow, your pond hobby will grow and you'll be able to afford, you know, a little bit larger ponds for your animals. You know, it all depends on the space you have uh, in your backyard. Now this turtle's taking a sweet, uh, sweet time right now but they are really, really cool. I think I'm gonna start reaching around under here, under this log. Um, I'm gonna start reaching around under this log to see if we can, in fact, find a wood turtle that may, in fact, be hiding under here. Let's hope I don't find another musk turtle that bites my finger off. <clears throat> this goes so deep, guys. What do we got? What do we got here? Oh, uh, that's not what we're looking for, but it's still a cool turtle. This is the Badiger Basca, no, excuse me, Badiger Borneensis, uh, the Painted River Terrapin. Since I put these guys out, remember I got these from Mark Cantos about two and a half years ago, and they were much, much smaller. This turtle, if it is a female, will reach close to 100 pounds. They are incredible. So um, my goodness, man. We are gonna be transferring these guys to the backyard pond eventually, but they're really pretty. Uh, in the breeding season, when they're mature, the males will uh, change color. They get pink and red, and boy, are they just gorgeous. Um, one other thing, guys, I forgot to finish my thought with Ed and um, the pond guy when they're coming out here. We're actually gonna be discussing building another pond or perhaps a wetland filter so that uh, we can keep the water even cleaner than we are since I am getting more and more water turtles. Um, I really want to do some more work with water turtles and I'm going to need a little bit more water. So if we build a new wetland, it'll actually be like a bog. There'll be about six to seven inches of water. So that's another perfect place for turtles to kind of congregate and live. But it's also going to be a bio falls on steroids. And before the end of this video, we'll go over to the back pond and I'll show you what a wetland filter looks like so that you can kind of get an idea of what we might be doing here. If we don't do a wetland, we may just build another large pond and I'll show you where I'm thinking of putting it. But in the meantime, I still have to find the turtles and I hope Greg's making, <clears throat> enjoying himself. What do we got here? What do we got up? We got 
another badiger. Get out of here, guys. What's this? What's this? Oh. oh, no. It's an Asian box turtle. It's a turtle grab bag, but it's not the one we're looking for. Oh, well. I'm going to take you guys. You know what? I saw it last in this corner over here, Greg. Okay. A couple days ago. We may get lucky. Oh, I, I think I just ran myself into a corner. Maybe under that log? This is a... Oh. Another Mexican, Another Mexican musk. musk. Look at so that. So beautiful. Isn't that awesome? And yeah. Just hanging out where musk turtles would normally hide, too. Yeah. Those it's, little shallows where they can get really crustaceans. Cool. They love it, man. And there are snails in here, so that's awesome. They are looking so around. Here. Yeah, you might yeah, you might be able to find something over there. What do you think? Anything? Maybe in those weeds? Yeah, they, can they get into the center of these weeds? Um, I've not seen that yet. But I meant maybe on this dead pine needle or something. Hey, oh, wait, you know, here's a turtle right here. What do you got? I think I think we're in luck. Come on, man. There yes, we got. we got it. You did it, dude. <laughs> right on, Greg. Good job, brother. Oh, uh, that's awesome. How beautiful are these turtles, man? I, I think they're just such beautiful little turtles. Um, but Fred's got such a nice colony of them. Right. I would prefer instead of me just having one here, it just makes more sense that this little guy goes on over to Fred's house uh, where it can breed and you know continue on its species. So that's pretty cool. One day it may wind up back here. Who knows, man, but that's so cool. Awesome job, dude. I'll tell you what, we'll put him in the, um, we'll put him where he was, but I wanna show you another turtle that you might okay. dig here. Would you mind terribly filming me while sure. I sure. Well, we do got. that? <clears throat> I'm right here. I wanted to kind of see if I could grab this because so many people were psyched when I got it and I wanted to show you this turtle, oh, oh, oh. this is a turtle oh, I've man. always wanted, man. And uh, my friend Maurice Rodriguez sent me it. So this is Geoclemys Hamiltoni, the Indian spotted turtle, or uh, the, I forget, the Central Asian pond turtle. I don't even know the common names, but what a gorgeous turtle. The cool thing, guys, about this turtle is since I've had them now for about a week and a half, is they are incredibly good at hiding. And when they are in the bottom of the pond, those spots break up their their outline. Um, they look like the weeds and stuff like that. All the little detritus, uh, is it detritus or detritus? I never can say that word right. But all the dead leaves at the bottom of the pond, they hide in, they just kind of chill out in. But my goodness, what a beautiful turtle. And this is a female, should get a little bit bigger. I'm just really stoked on it. So I wanted to share that with all of you and Greg. Um, I don't know if you've, kept any of these or you, you I've, I've always wished to dude these are <laughs> they're, awesome they're, you know they're, they're prohibited by law to travel over state lines right and so where i live nobody works with them so it's pretty much impossible but gotcha. i always love getting to see them i usually see babies so this is the first adult i've ever seen so well here's the deal man in actuality they can go over state lines as long as they're a gift um there can be no commercial activity on this animal unless the seller and the buyer has a captive bred wildlife permit from the federal government these were a gift i'm a sanctuary they were given to me so that they could live out their lives here in south florida a uh, very hardy robust turtle and to be perfectly honest there are they're very well represented here in the united states so i would consider these uh, a success story because we do have quite a lot of them, similar to the radiated tortoise, where there's a lot of them here in captivity. Now let's get that guy going there, boom. And you can just see that dark shell and those spots really break up its outline. So when you're looking down at the pond, it becomes more difficult to see that turtle. Uh, in fact, I think the other one is usually hiding in these right down in there, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm really stoked we found that in a fairly decent amount of time dude you, you are a true field turtler that was awesome brother all right well, well let's go put him in the tub so you can bring him over there and then i kind of wanted to just show you guys maybe what i'm thinking if if we don't do a wetland filter out here somewhere uh in the front yard maybe what do you guys think leave me comments and then don't forget to go on over to ed the pond professor's youtube channel uh just put in the pond professor or you can even put in uh greg the pond guy or aquascape and let them know what should they do here at camp gannon flood their uh account man i want them guys to know that we're having a good time out here with their ponds but i was thinking 
in this area, maybe I do another pond. I mean, hey man, it's just, I don't want just grass. It'd be more fun to have maybe uh, some kind of water feature in here. Uh, you know, a medium sized pond. We can incorporate maybe these Chinese fan palms. I might remove this uh, right here, this cactus. But um, I don't know, maybe a little stream that comes down here, make it look like it's part of the wetland up here. Check this out, by the way. We got bananas today. I'm pretty excited about that. And we also have, this is what the wetland looks like. So if I were to do a wetland out front, um, it could potentially be maybe half the size of this, but it's quite deep. It's about six, seven inches deep. So it is still uh, habitat for the animals, but we just need to plant it uh, so that there's all kinds of plants doing the hard work of keeping everything clean. But I don't know, we either do that or maybe we do a biofalls here, a nice huge biofalls, a nice stream. We'll move this if we have to, or maybe we kind of incorporate the fire pit. I went a little crazy with the wood. And uh, I mean, if I light this thing up, we're gonna have flames like 25 feet high. I'll probably burn this tree and the side of my house. So I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, fire bad, fire good. Uh, anyway, maybe a stream and then the main pond right here. And then you can kind of walk past it. It's a nice way to kind of get people psyched before they see the recreation pond. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to go on over and check out Greg the Pond Guy and Ed the Pond Professor on YouTube. Those guys build beautiful water features. And check out Greg's Turtle Haven also. He's one heck of a turtler. He found our wood turtle. Turtler sounds a little scandalous. <laughs> it, it, it could be misconstrued. We don't yeah. want to do that. He's a true turtle nerd and he finds them. He, uh, we still got to get up to you this summer, man. Yeah. I know I want to do some mountain biking next year uh, up north on actual mountains. So maybe I'll come out and we got to get some uh, gators. I, I, got, I got trails for you. Do you really? Like yeah. Awesome, bro. I got like all, all kinds of places for wild turtles. Um, uh, I, I can fill your day and fill your, fill your hands. Fill my hands and day. Sounds good, man. All right, listen, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to do what I asked you. Please go on over to those other accounts. Give them a subscribe and a like and a comment. And uh, that's it, man. We're out of here. Thanks so much for your support. You guys have been keeping the channel just hopping along. Hope you enjoyed this. Thank you, Greg, for coming out. His wife's kind of hiding. She doesn't want to be on uh, on the uh, YouTubes, on the internets, so we won't put her on there. But I'm saying goodbye. See ya.